This is the revised edition that just came out of Fortune and Glory. The pre-order bundle includes the game itself, obviously. Uh, this signed lithograph, I think it's called. Some uh, token upgrades for the artifact skulls that tell you where the artifacts are placed. Four promo cards. Although I read on Board Game Geek, some people are getting six. I unfortunately only got four. And a refrigerator magnet for Fortune and Glory. Here's the uh, signed. It's signed by the designers. I guess the designers. Get this refrigerator magnet. Let's take a look at that. And then you have these skull tokens, which I think uh, you can just buy these off the website. It's so overpriced, so it's like $35 for these. How many of them are there? There's one, two, three, four, five. There's six sets. So there's 12 of these, like, skulls. There's a yellow one. color is a white let's take a look at the uh, four promo cards you definitely get although some people are getting more these cards are pretty shiny you get a uh, gear card of a German SMG an event card. All down for the count. Although I've also read a couple of these that all they are is just alternative art. They're not even really new mechanics to the game. I don't think so. What is this? This is an event card. And finally, another gear card. Tommy, the Tommy card. So those are your pre-order bonuses. After that, you have uh, just basically the uh, core game. The front of the box. And here's the back. punch boards now here's the first punch board has these skull tokens that are replaced by the plastic ones a bunch of wound tokens the uh, villain track exploration tokens here's the back Uh, and then you have this one. This uh, I believe this was a swastikas in the original edition. Uh, I know they changed some swastikas around to that in this new one, so I assume those are it. Tokens for some characters, some numbers. Now you have the fortune tokens. are now cardboard they were plastic in the original one 
And same thing goes for these. These are the glory tokens, original plastic, now they're cardboard. Probably just swap both of them out with fortune and glory with metal coins. Not really into the plastic either. All right, so next up in the box, you have the rule book and a quick start guide. I'm gonna go through all the pages. Oh, the pages are stuck together here. Shiny print. Oh, I got a crinkle on mine. Mine's all kind of ripped up. Those two uh, 35 pages and then a back cover. Some reference, it does have an index, I believe. Judging from what I saw online, yep. Has no table of contents though. Damn, I'm not in such good shape. And you got those quick start rules. It's like a four page thing to, somebody new comes to your table, they can just uh, quickly get the gist of the game. They read this. Okay, and then uh, we got the board here. Stuffed up on the bottom there. Wow, it's super shiny. Like those cards. My first impressions are to describe this game as shiny. He's got like a gloss. Here's the uh, board. So you can go around each space. If you want to go off the east or west edge and around, you have to do it on this space, the Pacific Crossing. This is all one space. So you can't go from like here over to there. You have to go on the Pacific Crossing, which would, which then is also part of that, and then you move on. All right, so what should I go over next? I'm gonna take a look at the character cards. The backs, just that. So there's no information on them. There's a uh, reference card for the Zeppelin. That's for the competitive side, I believe. And if you play in the co-op side, you use the War Zeppelin. Then here's some cards for the, uh, the enemies. Let's see, the Nazis. And then there's a card of Nazi tactics. Then you have the mob. And a card for mob tactics. There's the mob tactics. And there's the outpost mob headquarters and hideouts. I assume the Nazis have a similar one. I think they do. It's on the back of these. So there you go, these are uh, nice big thick cardboard ones, almost like the board. Let's see. Then they give you a bunch of minis here, a bunch of green ones, a few red, a few sort of uh, bluish gray. Here comes dice. The dice are gold and black. Kind of like marbled. Some nice dice there. They also give you four, four envelopes, not envelopes, uh, like Ziploc bags. Put your tokens in. There's the dice. 
get five of the black and five of the gold. Five of these black dice. Hopefully you can see the marbling on them. They look nice. Fairly rounded edged corners. Gonna look at the uh, miniatures now. You have eight temples, eight mobsters, and 16 Nazis. There's like the Nazi military guy. And here's a mobster. My problem with these are, uh, you know, you're looking at the game from a distance. They, they're putting a gun in the same position and everything. I mean, they look kind of similar. You know, like you have to get up close to see what they're wearing, see uh, which it might be on the space. I don't know if that'll be a problem. Here's the, um, here's the, you get eight of these uh, temples. You know, look like the pyramids in uh, Mexico. Here's uh, the Zeppelin. I guess these other red minis are main like boss villains or something. They all look uh, unique. I think. Sort of military officer. So that's got to be a Nazi. Sort of femme fatale here. This kind of looks like uh, that Nazi dude from Raiders of the Lost Ark. That main guy following Harrison Ford. It's got to be what that is. We have a guy in a long overcoat. This could be a mobster, a mobster boss, maybe. A sort of mobster with a gun, or like heavy duty henchman, maybe. And that is it for the red miniatures. These, I assume, are your characters that you can play as. with a gun and a cantina. The girl with a gun. Another girl with a gun. Is this a duplicate? Nope, they're fairly similar, but... I guess one of these, I remember one being Shelly Hargo Grove, race car driver. Maybe one of those two. Oh, this is that Asian woman that I couldn't uh, name. Lai Mei Chen. Li Mei Chen. Li Mei Chen. Li Mai Chen. The guy with the uh, one uh, eye patch. Evidently carries around a machete. So 
rifle. This is a very rubbery, uh, flexible plastic. You can move around the barrel of this rifle or shotgun or whatever it is. Well, hopefully that means it won't break so easily. It'll just bend. Anyway, those are the miniatures. And all I have left is three, three, no, four thick things of cards. What we got here. This is the locations deck. Whenever you need a random location, you draw one of these. Like say you pick this, it's Amazon Falls. And if you're looking for a random city instead, you use the bottom there, which is San Francisco. Also in that uh, particular stack were some event cards. And again, I don't want to go through these. I'll show a few of them. I wouldn't read them. Be nice to be surprised when you're playing. These cards are shiny and can stick together here. We got allies, city, and gear decks in this, and also something else. I guess this is uh, some sort of reference cards for generic enemies and like four reference cards. Like here's a uh, Temple's reference card. On the back, tells you about skill tests. Walk game round. Competitive game round. And uh, it looks like two more. Yep. So there's three of these references on the, what the game rounds are. And you got, uh, I think these are just kind of reference cards for the enemies. You got a deck of gear cards. Deck of city cards. This is uh, sort of a, like events, but they uh, obviously happen in cities. I don't want to go over too much, kind of what they look like. And these are allies you can buy at cities for four, five glory. You can also buy gear at cities for five glory as well. And gear and Allies is a face down deck. You pay your five glory. And from what I've read, you just draw the top one, so you don't even get to choose. Bought this miniature market. It's Rise of the Crimson Hand. This is an expansion for uh, cultists. Now, this is not new. This was made for back when they had the original version of the game, although they say it's uh, compatible. They had another expansion, Treasure Hunters, that's been out, but uh, it's out of stock everywhere. So hopefully they reprint that. And that one has some extra heroes you can play as. All right, what do we got here? Flying Frog Production. Oh, this is just a catalog. Shadows of Brimstone. Their big money maker. Last Night on Earth. I have. A, I'd love to get Last Night on Earth, but I don't know. I have already have a, a ton of zombie stuff. What is this? So uh, here's sort of the rules for the new expansion. summary it's good major what is this major city epic events I guess that's a new thing this version it's expansion I should say you get a new punch board some temple collapse tokens I don't know why you'd necessarily need more of those some sort of hand thing that goes with the cultists for the 
any villains. And whatever these are for. So it looks like what is this is uh, nothing. This is the insert stuff. Yeah. Nothing's going on under these. This is stuff really hidden in there. And you get some new minis, new cards. Looks like a whole new stack of, I don't know, I'm guessing like 70 cards. Oh, these are thick. Maybe these are only like a deck of cards, like 52. They are thick. I don't know. New vile organization cards. Let's take a look at all this. Vile organization. Got the Order of the Crimson Hand and the Crimson Hand Tactics. And their outpost, outpost and Dark Sanctuary. Tight in there. Three red main villains and And eight Crimson Hand Cultists. All of those are the same, it looks like. Got eight of these things. They got the long uh, Plague Doctor nose kind of costume, it looks like. And a knife. And here's the red uh, villain one. Some woman looks like she's about to sacrifice somebody. Some guy. What is he holding? Oh, looks like he's holding some sort of chalice or something. This guy looks like he's got an executioner mask. So yeah, new adventure cards. Adventure cards aren't new to this expansion. There was some even the in the core game, although it wasn't in one of the decks I opened. Um, the Crimson Hands sort of, I guess it's like a generic reference card. Dark Creatures on the other side. Although I didn't see any minis for Dark Creatures. Let's see, Villains. Three reference cards for villains. An enemies deck for them. Nazi enemies. That's odd. I'm sure there's not there's Nazi enemies in the core game. You get three more common items. Two, three, four villain events. What is this? Oh, these are danger cards. Yep. Good amount of new danger cards and event cards. City cards. Gear cards. Allies. Yeah. It's like three new artifact cards. Oh, and more, more adventure cards on the other end of the deck. So here's your uh, villain. Let's take a look at these villain reference cards. You got the Inquisitor. Sir Benjamin Crowley. Angelica. Over the common items, since those are play those face up. 
We got a hunting knife. Actually, two hunting knives. And a canteen. All right, I should have two of the same. Here's the generic melons. Crimson assassin. Dark creatures. So yeah, I'm not gonna go over the other items. So that can be a surprise when I'm playing. So that is it. For what I have for fortune and glory.